And then there is a hurricane on the way and I'm very damn worried about Ruby um, because she's part right the ocean. I'm an island <laughs> um, so I don't, my safety isn't what I'm worried about. Before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right I started this week on the beautiful island of San Pedro, a few days on my own to work and come down. So I just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, I'm currently on the islands, it's really really beautiful. Um, I'm gonna show you some clips of the place where I am right now. Um, it's a beautiful hotel um, on the south of San Pedro. Um, yeah, this is like the non-party island, more like they call it like the old people island um, <laughs> because all the elderly luxurious tourists come here come here um so yeah what else um yeah it's pretty expensive to get here like i had to park the car which is 60 us dollars for a guarded parking which is absolutely necessary because belize city isn't really safe um fingers crossed that my car is fine we will see um and then the ferry was also around 50 Asian, i think one way um, sucks <laughs> and all the prices online are way cheaper so they heightened up the prices and you can't really find current info but this is from the official office so yeah uh, also the taxi ride from the water ferry to here was around 25 US dollars which is something I didn't think through um, but yeah it's fine now it's really beautiful and I'm really enjoying my time here and tomorrow it's time to change hotels to another place um, that is more in town and I can actually walk to the ferry point from this one so that's so good and I didn't take all my luggage I left um, one bag which is close in the car so let's also hope that that's still there but I actually I took all my valuables and just stuff that is okay um, to lose so yeah we will see After a few days, it was time to change location, but right after the arrival in San Pedro itself, I got some alarming news. Hello and welcome to a little update. Um, so I probably lost my GoPro, I think I forgot it in the shuttle. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Um, I knew this would happen sooner or later, I wanted to attach it to my camera chain, camera chain, phone chain, um, I didn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, well, oh well. Um, we'll see, maybe I hear back from them soon. Um, the thing that worries me more is that there's a hurricane on the way and it's currently heading straight towards Belize, straight towards where I am and they're about to like shut off the island, um, barricade everything. They're saying like we're not in danger, it should be fine, we're expecting some rain and winds and stuff. Um, which I would be totally, totally fine with sitting out but my car is directly at the beachfront so I'm kind of worried about the hurricane hitting the um, the city, the city, um, and flood the car park um, where Ruby is parked, and that would suck because <laughs> uh, it's very flat. So yeah, I will see what I'm gonna do. I got a few options right now, and I'm currently checking in what's smartest um, for me and for the car. Because yeah, I just got everything checked. It's just really 
kind of sure if I could like sit still and relax and not knowing what's with the car. So yeah, we'll see. Um, hopefully, I know some more have more info tonight. Um, but yeah, we'll keep you updated. <laughs> I decided to head back to the mainland the next morning, giving up the search for the last GoPro and picking up Roby first thing before noon. After stocking up with food for the next days, I headed to Santa Elena, where I kindly got offered a room until the hurricane was over and there would be a safe spot to park the car with no danger of flooding. In the end, we were a group of around 10 people, all sitting it out here. The day before the storm was calm, even sunny at noon, before it started to get a bit darker and windier towards the evening. I spent my day reading, using the electricity as long as I still had it to work and to get everything inside. During the storm, we all stayed inside of the building, drank a bottle of rum and played games in the dark as the electricity went off pretty early on and it got way too windy to leave the house. So, um, to give you a quick update, um, we also got the hurricane. I drove all the way up to Santa Elena, which is very close to San Ignacio, um, basically a part of it. And yeah. <laughs> so, we got Kitty here. We called her Aurelia because that only really sounds like a Portuguese word for E, and she's a bit damaged E, which is so cute. Holy fuck. Um, we did yoga together, she didn't really work. Um, yeah, and we all stayed inside, had some rum, and that was it. Like, the car's not damaged, the property's probably fine. Um, everyone's like just cleaning up today and things are slowly opening up again. And yeah, that means tomorrow we can finally go down to Hopkins, back to the sea. And just hope that the situation down there is similar. So, yeah. So, Hurricane Lisa's over. The car's fine. I already cleaned most of it. So it's just pulled off like this. Um, all the leaves on it, just pretty sheltered because it's like the smallest car between those two big trucks. So, yeah, hurricane number one survived. Belize City got quite a hit. Big parts of town were underwater, so I was incredibly happy about my decision to get the car. The day after the storm, I hit the road down to Hopkins, which turned out to be one of the most beautiful drives I've ever done. I stayed in a local hostel before I checked into the first out of three resorts that I work for the next nine days. So I just came out of the pool of this very fancy hotel that I'm working for and I just thought about all the things that I actually want to talk about. Things that are important for me, to me, for me, many reasons, and it's not just, I don't travel just for travel. The reason why I travel is because I am home. I'm home on the road. I am surrounded by all the things that I love most, and for me, that's, one is history. I absolutely love history. And another one I'm very passionate about, passionate about is women's rights, domestic violence, all of that shit that's happening and that's especially happening in the countries that I'm visiting and very present. Yeah, so I find it would be such a waste if I wouldn't mention it whenever I am there, whenever I come across something. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked it. I plan to give a little bit of an insight about the history of a place because there is a lot. <laughs> um, and maybe also if I see something I come across because I, I research everything all day long. It's like, I'm not even sure if it's a hobby. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is 
it's just, I don't know, it's just on my mind and I don't want this to be like a travel vlog or just cinematic scenes because to be honest, vlogging is against everything that my brain likes <laughs> because my brain likes great cinematic movies and stuff um, so this is a bit coming out of my comfort zone anyway um, yeah so yeah um, I hope I can tell you a bit more about Belize during the next few weeks um, and then continue with all the Central American countries that all have a very intense um, often tragic history um, read a lot also about colonism and it's something I think that's very important for a lot of us because it's our ancestors who did this and we just come here and enjoy it and pay the money that we earned on it and sometimes that we earn in their blood and just spend it and close off, close the walls and say like we need to relax, we need to get out of our lives. Um, without even looking what's happening around us or who are the people working in these fancy places and yeah how are they treated and sometimes we just forget all their history that comes with them uh, yeah and it's a lot more complex than we think so yeah hope i can give you a bit more insight soon and yeah show you around one day <laughs> A beautiful private room after the struggle can sometimes be a well-deserved treat and not a failure. I hope you enjoyed this a bit different episode and I'll see you next week for some jungle adventures.